Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Subnautica. This is episode number 32. We are at our second outpost, Vulcan's Runny Nose. We're standing by the eponymous, the, the Vulcan's Runny Nose right there. In case you didn't get the reference, we've been doing a lot of underwater, under cavage exploration the last several episodes, but today we're headed back to the main base. We've been finding all kinds of cool stuff in this underwater cave system, but we've also collected a ferocious amount of quartz, and today we're going to take it all the way back to our base. These guys, for whatever reason, have not been, uh, they've not been dying of heat. So I don't know what cooked the first batch. Maybe we just had some inferior fishies and now they're all dead. I don't know. Maybe I'm developing uh, genetic traits for uh, heat resistance in these guys that they never had before. Could be. I don't know. Could be, a, could be a lot of things. Maybe it's just a random bug, glitch. I don't know. Who knows? Don't know. So, this is the last of the glass we've got to take. Let's go ahead, actually, and top off our our food bar and our water bar. And just eat uh, however many. More than we need. Okay, get everything above 100. Lovely. That leaf, that looked like there was a uh, some kind of transition on screen, and it was the leaf going back and forth. That was really strange. Okay, anyway, sorry. I'm getting distracted here. So, uh... When I do travel in this game, and when I make videos in general, I tend to try to cut out the grindy stuff. I try to capture all the action on the screen, so that it doesn't get too dull. But, as a result of that, I think sometimes what happens is that people, you guys, watching the videos, if you haven't played the game anyway, you might not have a great idea of uh, the overall layout, how we get from A to B, how far apart they are, and so... Just for this one time, since we're going back to the Cyclops, and then we're going all the way back to the base, we're going to do it kind of all at once. And to do so, we're going to use... I think I'm just going to turn off all of these so we can just uh, use the terrain. What happens if I turn them all on? What's that look like? Oh, wow, that is a mess. I guess it does make sense that they're mostly all above us. Okay, there's the Mushroom Cave, for instance. There's the Nick Fury. A lot of these don't really matter that much because we've got to go through the caves to get to them anyway. But let's just turn them all off. We'll swim directly there. We do have one thing to scan, as long as I don't forget to do it. There's one thing to scan, which I sw I've swam by a few times and I just haven't done it yet. Because it's going to be a little dangerous. But there's the runny nose. We're going to go away from uh, basically the base. The new stuff's there. We're going back this way. It's more or less a ravine until we, uh, we're going to go this way, then it's going to go up, and then we'll get to a point where it branches. All, all, the only thing you really have to remember are the, the points where it branches, which direction to go. So it's really not that hard to find your way around down here once you know where you're going. We've got 225 seconds to get to the, uh, the next outpost to recover our oxygen. Then we have, um, it'll take about that amount minus, we'll have about a, a minute left, minute extra of oxygen when we get there. So we can dawdle a little bit, but not too much. You basically just go straight down the ravine until you get to a bit where you can go up and see the waterfalls. That's our first little, uh, what do you call it, waypoint? Um, landmark? Yeah, landmark. That's our first little landmark. I already stowed Sebastian. It is... He can, I guess, carry a little bit more if you're using him because he has his own storage. But he's quite slow. And uh, for something like this where I want to capture it on film, probably best to be as speedy as possible. Okay, here's the very, very cool and tranquil area. With all of the ghost rays and the, uh, the big tree coming up. Oh, yeah. Hey, buddy, buddy. I wish, uh, I don't think I can get these guys as an egg. At least that's what I've been told. The one, the ray I do have is the smaller one, which is cool, but not quite as cool. I did find magnetite here a few times, by the way. So now we've got a source of magnetite down here. We could basically just live down here and never come back to the surface, which I'm considering becoming a cave dweller. It's basically like Subnautica's version of a dwarf. There's a super awesome uh, ghost leviathan spawning tree. But I've never seen any ghost leviathans here. But so far, still basically just going down the cave. There's no uh, branches yet. So it's not hard to get... Uh, not hard to know where you're going. It's very hard to get lost. Until we get to here. So here's really the only intersection between 
my one outpost and the other. And we basically just keep going straight, so it's it's pretty uh, pretty easy. The This big skeleton thing points the way, I guess. There is a location over there I haven't fully explored. And then there is the, uh, the alien wreckage building, which is over there. Which we still have to go back to with a tablet. We're going to have to go back to all the different uh, buildings we've discovered and... Whoa! Yeah, and, uh, uh, what was that, a fish? And bring some tablets, so, so we'll be coming back down here. And there's an entire, entirely, uh, extra area we still haven't been to. But as you can see, we've got 40 seconds left. Uh, so maybe I was going slower than possible. I remember the first time I did this, I tried to go as fast as possible, and I had 60 seconds, I think. But now we're here to the first outpost. The rib cage. And I think there's some, a few things here and there left here, but um, we don't have room, obviously. We're a little bit weighed down. So we're just going to keep going. There's some fish swimming through the glass. That's great. And we're not too far from the next thing, the thing we need to scan. And it might be a little bit dangerous. I hope we don't die. I guess we'll see. Okay, we got to go over this way. The path to our submarine is that way. The thing to scan is this big sucker here at the end of the ribcage, if you can guess what it is. I don't know if I've swam over here, really, because there's this fella, a ghost leviathan, not this fish. I don't care about that thing. And I think we sort of lucked out in that he's a little bit farther away. I'm not sure I can actually outrun him if he really wants to eat me. Okay, gargantuan fossil. Hi. Yeah, I've never... I don't think I've ever been bit by one of those things. And I would like to keep that going. Hey! Okay, uh, let's just back up a bit. Maybe once we get to the Cyclops, then maybe that would be a good idea to uh, wait until then. Until we look at the, the new entry in our data pad from scanning that giant skull. And as far as I've seen or looked around, I don't know if there's anything else. I cannot find anything else to scan. Uh, I think I've scanned all the different skulls and skeletons and stuff that we've we've come across. Okay, but here, uh, yeah, it's really just kind of hard to get lost once you know just a few of the uh, the landmarks. There's our power generation for the rib cage. We just kind of go here, out of the green area, and then we go straight up, and then we're at the Cyclops. So even without the uh, even without the beacons, it's still pretty easy to find your way around. Even without a uh, backup oxygen tank or anything, just with your regular 225. At this point, I kind of doubt there's ever going to be another upgrade to that. So, But uh, I do feel like we can cover a ferocious amount of territory with that amount of time. Yeah, we go past this one little waterfall. And then we go straight up. And then we're at the Cyclops. Then we go straight up with the Cyclops. And then we are at the surface again. And then we just go north for like a kilometer and a half. See, there it is right there. Hello, old friend. Hello, Mr. Nick Fury. And I'll show you all of the... Uh, we'll store, stow the quartz I have. And I'll show you all the quartz we got. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. All, all right. Systems online. Thanks. All right. So uh, the storage in here, as you can see... As you can see, there are labels, and everything with the label is full. So quartz, 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 quartz. No, six of quartz. Glass, 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 glass. Uh, four of glass. So all full. So now we need to, I guess we've got uh, the ones that say random have random. This one just says locker. So I guess we will dump the glass in this guy. And I suppose since we're just going straight home, we don't really need to empty out all the way. Let's just update that. So yeah, we have a lot of glass for our base. This one, uh, that's the last one, so that one's not totally full. But almost nearly, we've got a bunch of magnetite for future uh, outposts and map rooms and stuff like that. That's just the last of the random stuff. A lot of random stuff, a lot of these ion cubes and stuff like that. Lithnic, what could that be? I bet it's lithium and nickel. It is, okay. Let's go up to the top. I think we have an upgrade to make for the, uh, the the Cyclops here. But I would have to track down the ingredients we need for it. Unless I put them in here. I did not. Okay, but I do have the uh, 
some of the materials anyway on me right now. Uh, we could make this. I guess we don't need it right now if we're going back home. The uh, Cyclops Thermal Reactor Nodule. We would need a wiring kit, which is two silver. And the polyaniline, which I don't have on me. I had hydrochloric acid, which turns into something else, right? I forget. It doesn't matter. We can look at that later. Let's just go back to the go back home. And then we can sort through all the ingredients and start glassing up our base like there is no tomorrow. Okay, let's get a... Uh, I guess we'll do this. Let's get a sonar reading. Basically, we have to go straight up, more or less. All right, engine on. Powering up. Powering up. We'll go with the camera on top. There we go, and we're just going to kind of go straight up. Once we get to the surface, we go north. And I'm just, I'm going to do the rest without uh, the beacons as well. Which, I'm not sure if I've done that before, but I don't think it should be too tricky. Okay. Good. Okay, let's swim over this way a little bit. Am I bumping into stuff? Yeah, okay, the tail's scraping. That's all right. That's all right. Okay. So, uh, yeah, our tail is close to stuff. We want to face north, and that's about it. Just go north until we get to our uh, floating island area, or the underwater floating islands, or whatever it's called. As long as there's no super nasty things in the water, after we get past this deep part... Although, I mean, I say that, but we're only at 200 meters. Deep part, uh, I guess, uh, I would have considered this deep for a large part of the playthrough, but not for the last little bit. I guess we can go uh, to the camera here. Let's go to the this one. Just make sure we're not scraping. That is a piece of the ship. I've uh, I basically stopped exploring these on camera for videos because they sort of are all the same at this point, and they don't have any useful tech. They're not really uh, anything new. If I do find something new in one, I guess I'll try to put that on the camera. Okay, we're going north. Maybe we'll ping the sonar. Boom. Oh, it kind of cuts off right here. We're going the normal speed. Is this, uh... Here, okay, let's turn that off now. Maybe it's just, um, we hit the max range of it. Man, this thing is really slow compared to our other means of transport. Oh! Uh-oh! Uh, okay. Uh, what do I do? That. Okay, quiet running, please. Okay, let's switch to a camera. Did we get it? I mean, did it, like, get that? And did we... Maybe I should have been closer down by the bottom. Uh-huh. Okay. Right. We're fine. We are draining our batteries. I do have spare uh, fuel cells, so no big deal. We're going north. Maybe I should keep a closer eye on the camera here. I think it's this deep stuff off to the left that's the problem. Maybe we should shift to being more like northeast. This is the first time I've done this with the beacons off. So maybe we are heading, like even though it says we were heading north, maybe uh, we were headed slightly into the wrong territory. I'm kind of tempted to turn the beacon back on. Okay, let's turn silent running off. Uh, let's sit here for a minute. I wonder if we could get a better reading... Or, you know, just a, a landmark. Because there are multiple mushroom forests. I would like to get an idea of where the uh, the aurora is. If we go way up to the surface. Just so we... I mean, I've only got so many... Uh, so many decoys. Oh, it's way... Oh, okay. It should not be that far away where we can't even see it. So I did sort of veer off to the left into one of the areas of the map where I haven't really explored much off to the uh, to the west. So we're just going to go straight this way.
This is a little bit more challenging than I at first thought it would be. If this thing is not rendering at all, maybe that's partly because we're f looking through the Cyclops windows. No, I think we just went super far. We're going straight east now. Okay, let's uh, keep looking at the cameras. Let's go down. Whoa! What was that? Oh, I, <laughs> I hit one of those guys. Okay, we're in the mushroom foresty area. Oh. Oh, we've got damage. There is damage on the ship and we're taking on water. That doesn't sound very good. Okay, so um, this is a good, nice learning experience to have on camera. Let's get some of my tools out. We need the repair gun. I guess the flashlight and that guy, just all the usual stuff. Repair gun is there. I wonder if I can swim outside or can I repair it from here? It says it is. I guess maybe going on the outside would be the best way to do it. And then we'll try to get closer to the home. Uh, without, oh, I don't know why I'm trying to do it without the beacons. The fact that I'm seeing this tells me I'm, I don't know where I am really. Aha, okay. Repair. So I guess that Reaper did that. Nasty critter. Is that the only point of damage? I hope so. No water, no damage. Okay, fine. Uh, so... I think we want to keep going... Not north, but east. We want to go closer to the Aurora. The fact that the Aurora was... Uh, and the fact that I'm seeing this biome here that I didn't even know was in this part of the world... That tells me that um, we veered like way off to the left. And now it is nighttime. But we basically want to go at a minimum until we can see the Aurora. And now I can't see anything down there. And it's a little bit freaking me out. It's very dark and murky. I thought this would be extremely straightforward. Let's get a, a reading. Okay, so it gets shallower like right here. Sonar helps. Uh, I think I'm going to keep it on for a second because it's making me feel a little bit more comfortable. What is that? Okay, the sonar is picking up. Oh, it's one of the uh, sharks. Okay, if we're seeing those, then these mountains must hide. Hey, Beth, get off of there. <laughs> If we're seeing them, then that means we must be kind of close to my base. All right, let's look through the camera. Ghost rays. Or those aren't ghost rays. Those are the uh, the ones that are in the mushroom forest, the ones that I have an egg for. I forget what they're called. So I think from this mountainy stuff, I think if we go left, we're going to see my... Yes, okay. I see a floating island. All right, so I think we're close to home now. I think what happened is I veered to the left too far heading home into an area I haven't explored before, and we ran into Mr. Mr. Reaper. There's the base. Sweet. Okay, let's turn off sonar. Let's switch to the, uh, the keel camera. It is kind of dark, but we don't need to be super close. We just need to be kind of there. But basically, we made it. We made it. We had a uh, scary encounter, but I learned a little bit, I guess. All right, everything's been transferred before I forget about it. Let's craft the two remaining upgrades, or at least the, the two that... Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank All you. Great, thanks. Uh, let's craft the two upgrades that we can craft. The only one we'll be missing at this point, I think, in the game, as far as I'm aware. But who knows what we're going to discover in the future? But the only one I'm aware of that we won't have is the depth module. So the, uh, the Cyclops fire suppression system, which would be nice if we get bit again, if there's fires and stuff. And then the Cyclops thermal reactor module for generating power uh, near lava, basically, which, hey, that might come in handy in the future. Um, okay, close the door. We don't have room to run all these modules at once, but uh, in certain situations, we might want to switch one out for the other. I'm not sure which one I'd want to get rid of. This is pretty handy. 
The shield generator is basically vital. The decoy tube upgrade, that's vital. Sonar is pretty vital. This one we could temporarily swap out, but it's not a good idea. Maybe we would swap that out for the uh, the thermal reactor module, because they kind of do the same thing, right? They they reduce the amount you got to swap out your batteries. So probably for now we'll swap that in. Okay, very lovely. And then we'll just plop this guy in here in the uh, extra battery container. The other batteries I have are currently being charging. Or they're currently being charged. In fact, they're probably done charging. So, uh, now that we've done that, we've got a ferocious amount of quartz to uh, basically let evaporate into our base. And then I did bring back at, at least two new egg types that we can hatch, which will be fun. So probably the first thing we want to do with our quartz is to glass up all of the areas that already have containers, the, uh, the, the alien containment chamber things. So I'm going to do that. Here and there, what is our... Our whole strength is at 90. Okay, that's pretty good. And it's going to get a little bit laggy, at least just for the building part. Uh, I found that this game can be kind of laggy when you're building, especially if you have a, a decently sized base that has a lot of quartz and um, other things going on. But it's only really laggy when you're building it, so that's perfectly fine with me. I don't mind that too much. All right, one last container to do, and then we'll have two full new fish tanks done and fully glassed up on the exterior. We can get rid of these staircases, put in some uh, little hatches, and I guess we can't, let's see, we want one right here where the staircase is, and then we can uh, put in some of our new eggs. I brought back, what happened? My battery, uh, crap. Uh, okay, well, temporarily, I'm going to take the battery out of that one. Because it's faster. I don't have a spare battery. I mean, there we go. Okay, problem solved. So we're going to put a hatch next to each one of these. I've got at least two types of eggs to figure out what they are. One of them, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. And the other two, I'm not sure at all. Okay. Okay, this guy's good. And let's see. That is the top floor. So let's get rid of all oh, the lag. There we go. Yeah, there's some building lag, but I don't really care. As long as it's only during the building, then it's not really a big deal. I mean, I have done quite a bit of building, but it's still in the minority of the uh, the time I've spent. So, no big deal. All right. Yeah, quite a bit of delay. All right, and then one more. And then we can use these to go up and down. And these fish tanks, really, I mean, it's going to be a little bit inconvenient to get over here to each individual one. We're going to have to go through a lot of other fish tanks sometimes. But uh, once we have them set up, I don't really intend to come back here very often. They're, they are here to be um, enjoyed from the exterior of the base. Yeah, not really to be swum around, really. I mean, not for practical reasons. And it is nighttime. Okay, but we got a lot of glass now. I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, did we get an update on what's our hull integrity at? Let me find... There's still uh, all the fish tanks beneath the main storage and crafting area. I haven't done those yet, but we've got all the ones above there done. Somebody growling at me over there. Okay, let's uh, let's see what our hull integrity is at just by putting one there. Oh, did I totally run out? I ran out of glass. All right, never mind. I guess it's not a big deal. Uh, all right, so now let's go grab some eggs and dump them in one of these fish tanks and see what we got. So... Here is where I keep my eggs. I've got enough inventory space. Let's see, what's in this one? We brought this back. This is a new one. So let's grab those. These we've done before. Sand shark, stalker. We still have that one. These are all spade fish. Okay. Uh, these are all... Okay, no eggs there. And I know I added some more lockers because I ran out of space. That's a stalker egg I just picked up recently. I know one of these has eggs in them. Here we go. All right. So I brought back... I thought there was a smaller egg I brought back, but I guess we have four of these we can hatch. And there's this one, which is almost certainly one of those electric eel things. So I guess since I'm not sure where that other egg is, I guess we can look in these guys. That is all plenty stuff. That's all plenty stuff. Let's look one more time just to make sure. 
Creature eggs. I guess we've got... Yeah, we've got that one still. Creature egg. These are, um... Those are the, uh... Sand shark things. All right. Well, we've got two egg types, so I guess that's good enough for now. Let's swim back up here. These guys are my uh, crash fish. All right. So we'll dump a couple of them in here, or one type. I've only got one of these, so there you go, buddy. Make me, make me a uh, electric eel. It's really annoying, by the way. I don't know why this is the case. When you pop outside of one of these hatches, it uh, it shifts you to the left. And then you can't walk forward because of this stupid railing. This is just like a one little minor thing that really, like, drives me nuts. It's like, push them up buttons. All right, four eggs there. What do you think those are going to be? I don't know. That we've run into before. I guess there were those shocker transparent fish things. Not the electric eels, but the ones we found deeper down. They're kind of pulsating. It's really weird and creepy. I'm kind of seeing inside. It looks a little bit glowy on the inside, but I don't know. I guess we'll just wait until they're done and then see what we got. All right, so that's probably about good for right now. I've got... And this is kind of amazing. Uh, I brought back a lot of quartz, but I didn't think I would have much left over. Currently, I've got literally 100 or so quartz left over. That's pretty good. So about 50 glass. We've got uh, two of those fish tanks. The, the fish eggs we put in them, they've hatched. We can go take a look at them. And then I've got two more fish tanks ready to go, more or less. I mean, we can make them uh, taller or whatever, but uh, we got the space there. I haven't put the actual aquariums in there yet until we actually need them. So let me see, how do we get to the fish tanks? Uh, we need to go through here, I think, and then just around to the left. Counterclockwise. Right through Cha. Okay, who do we got in this one? Uh-huh, yeah, just as I thought. Oh, I can scan you, I haven't scanned you yet. Didn't realize that. Okay, Ampule. Get scanned. Get a scan job. Get scan job. Scan job. Indigenous life form. Ampule. Oh, that reminds me. I never did add the entry we got when we scanned the big uh, creature skull thing early on in the video. So uh, we'll have to look at that again in a second. And we've got lava lizards. And I guess that I scan you guys. I guess I did. Okay. Oh, look at you guys. You guys are kind of cool. I guess the texture on the uh, outside of the egg kind of makes sense now, now that I see you up close and personal. You're always trying to shoot lava missiles at me, so I haven't gotten too close to you. Ah, oh, okay, very lovely. This kind of, it's missing a little bit of uh, blackish char and reddish lava. We need some liquid hot magma. All right, so let's uh, go back out to where we can get out of our tank. All the way around here. Run into the railing again. And before we hop into the water, let's look at our... Let's look at our entries here. We've got an amp eel entry. Powerful and inquisitive predator. Electric prongs. Assessment. Avoid. Or incapacitate. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, we need to find another egg of those so that we can breed them. I haven't exactly looked yet. Gargantuan fossil. The fossilized remains of an extinct super predator. Its sheer size would have prohibited it from entering such an enclosed space, suggesting the geography of the planet has shifted around it over time. A true apex predator. Yeah, that thing is gigantic. None of the other super big skeletons I've seen are even close to that big. Three million years old. Rip cage, uh, eel-like. Okay. Uh, calculations suggest only the front third the remains now support a vibrant microcosm of life. Yeah, me. Uh, my base is right next to it. There's a series of precise angular indentations on the rib case, suggesting a third party has taken samples from the specimen at a previous time. Yeah, the Degassis, I think. All right, very cool. Very, very cool. Let's collapse all of this. Let's take a look at the base. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? We go here. All right, so here's the base as it exists. We're still sort of collecting eggs. We haven't set up the uh, micro habitations yet. I think maybe next time we will go back to some of the alien structures we found and try to unlock some of the rooms with tablets and other various means. 
and uh, I guess do some more exploration. There's definitely areas of the map which we have not explored yet. This base is starting to look kind of cool. I mean, kind of big and kind of glassy. Classy glassy. All right, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> the end of the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.